Life on Earth. Scientists believe it started about 3.5 billion years ago. But new research on bacteria colonies in Western Australia suggests that it started even earlier than that. The colonies build rock-like structures called stromatolites. They're similar to the ancient fossilised stromatolites found in the nearby Pilbara region. A team from UNSW's new Australian Centre for Astrobiology has revealed that stromatolites show remarkable biodiversity, more than 100 species of bacteria. This suggests evolution occurred tens of millions of years earlier than first thought. We use Shark Bay as an analogue for the way things might have been billions of years ago. So we have to now um, try to develop techniques for searching for the same sort of diversity and complexity in the ancient system as we know to be true in the, in the modern one. The research was revealed at the official opening of the Australian Astrobiology Centre by Australia's most famous astronaut, Andy Thomas. It's going to answer some basic questions about how life evolved, uh, what is the mechanism that leads to life, how did it happen here on Earth, when did it happen, and that will also, that of course is a very important question, but it will also tell us did it happen elsewhere in the solar system or in the universe or is it just such an improbable occurrence that it only occurred here on Earth? The findings of the research will guide and inform the next Mars mission in which Professor Walter is closely involved. We know that uh, Mars in particular, early in its history, three to four billion years ago, had an environment very much like that of the early Earth. And so to develop techniques to look for life on Mars, for example, we, we look at uh, three to four billion year old rocks on Earth and see what we can find there. And we look at modern analogues of those, such as we, we have in, in Shark Bay. Firstly, there is the basic question this, this centre will help answer. It'll answer some profound important questions about how life began on this planet. I can think of little more important question than that, as we, as one species of this immense universe, should strive to answer. It'll help us understand our place in the cosmos. It will help us understand whether or not life may have independently begun elsewhere in the universe or even within the same solar system. Just imagine the social impact that would come to us as a species if we knew that life evolved not only on this planet but quite independently on another planet. I can imagine no more important discovery than that.